Stephen Hawking was wrong about black holes because he once said that they erase information. Now, according to quantum mechanics, information can't be erased. And in 2004, Hawking famously took it back and said, okay, fine, information can't be destroyed. But the story doesn't end there. Black holes aren't perfectly black. They glow a little bit. And this is called Hawking radiation. Now let's imagine something that we don't know falling into the black hole. Quantum physics says that information can't be destroyed. So if nothing is lost, then some kind of message about what went in has to be hiding in that glow. In the past few years, models have shown that the entropy should rise, then peak, and then fall. The page curve you'd expect if information survives. The maths in these models says that a tiny island inside effectively counts with the outside. So the bookkeeping works without a violent firewall. But there's a catch. Even if the message is out there, pulling it out seems brutally difficult. The harlow hayden result shows that decoding the radiation takes an exponential amount of time, longer than the black hole itself lives. Physicist Adam Brown says that it's like pouring a cup of coffee in the ocean and then coming back 10 years later and trying to extract those same coffee molecules. Geometrically speaking, there's even a warning sign called Python's lunch. If the wormhole linking the hole and its radiation has a bulge between two bottlenecks, reconstruction is exponentially hard. In the models we can solve, the math fits unitarity and keeps the horizons calm, so nothing is lost. But actually reading the message runs into complexity. The universe doesn't burn the message. It hides it in a code you probably can't crack in time. 